This is Coach Gene of Drafting Lifestyle and we are up again for another video tutorial that can be used for drawings and AutoCAD works for your academic purposes. So, on my screen, you can see a sample of a perspective taken in a night setup. Okay? You can do also this activity with your AutoCAD works. Depende lang kung anong klaseng AutoCAD software ang ginagamit ninyo. Might be 2015, 14, 16, and the recent AutoCAD that we have, 2022 or 2023. So, depende sa setup ang paggamit dito. So, sa 2014, ibang setup niya, but still they are apply, applying the same principles and procedure. Okay? The only difference between them is the only the setup. Okay? The settings. Pero ngayon, ang ituturo ko yung sa inyo ang basic sa paggamit ng lightings sa isang structure ng bahay. Okay? So, without much ado, let's start with our first, of course, with our tutorial. So, here is our, of course, our 3D model. If you still remember, we had our first activity, uh, previous activity wherein we include indicating of plants, trees, applying trees and plants sa ating AutoCAD works. Of course, that you observe that it is really different application compared to um, sketch up activity and other softwares. Pero, no, ang kagandahan sa kanya is that you can apply any plants and trees that you can see on the internet. So, ibig sabihin, you can create your own. So, here, our activity on this tutorial, we are going to place lighting sa ating bahay. Okay? So, the first thing I'm going to do is to turn off this one, change it into 2D wireframe. And then, I'm going to create rectangular objects here para sa ating activity. So, I'm going to type rec here. Okay? Point 1. Tab point 1. Okay, para sa ating structure, uh, what we call the object for our lighting. So, I'm going to copy this one. Okay. So, rec or I mean, sorry, extrude at least a point 0.5 or point 0.6 might be. Pwede na. So, point 0.5. And ito naman, I extrude ko naman sa kanya. Okay. At least point 0.1. Okay. So, I'm going to place this one here. Move this object somewhere here. And then, if I'm going to place this an armat, okay, i-armat ko siya, I'm going to choose glass here, and then I'm going to choose here um, light bulb on, or meron tayong luminous um, object, okay, so glass, luminous white, so pwede rin luminous white, or yung isa. So, click there and then the other one I'm going to choose here is metal paint. So, metal paint, I'm going to choose black as a representation of this object. So, if you're going to look at this on realistic, it will look like this. Okay? So, these are ground lights. Now, to check first our activity here, I'm going to go back again to, to the wireframe. Then, I'm going to place this one. So, in creating four lights, we have four common lightings that we have in AutoCAD. We have the point, spot, distant, and the web light. So, since basic lang naman ituturo natin ngayon, is I'm going to create a point light. Click lang natin siya, and then it says here, uh, lalawas ang isang dialog box, and then it says here, turn off the light defo uh, la default lighting, which is recommended, or keep default lighting turn on. So, I'm going to choose the second option here, and then lalabas dito ang isang symbol ng ilaw. Okay, so ilalagay ko lang siya somewhere here. Now, intensity factor, I'm going to change this into 50 only. Okay? So, bago pa natin siya i- um, set, total setup talaga, i-set muna natin siya so that kapag medyo mataas ang ilaw or mababa, we could just easily adjust the lightings. Okay? So, once ando na, I'm going to move this light into the center of this object. Okay. Click. Then, there you have it. Now, once so nandito na tayo, let's check the properties of this light by checking here dito. Um, point light 2 and then properties. So, keep it on. Intensity factor. Um, so, this one here, we will adjust this one as soon as makikita natin kung ano ang outcome ng result ng ating lightings. 
So, kasi minsan mataas talaga siya. So, click lang natin. And then, I'm going to copy these objects into several positions. So, copy natin siya dito sa ating object. Here. And then, I'm going to copy this one to the opposite side dito. And then, copy this again to objects copy somewhere in the between somewhere in between of this area or if you want dito pwede na rin now I'm going to copy again this object around the structure malalaman natin yan mamaya kung ano ang intensity niya minsan kasi masyadong mataas depende kasi sa klase ng AutoCAD na ginagamit natin sa 2014 um, which is we used fun of using of 2014 kasi napaka friendly user niya so, okay. So, let's try to observe this one. Copy muna natin. These two lightings here para hindi masyadong mataas. Copy. Okay. Onto the edge and into the middle. Okay. So, not necessarily kailangan by so cut. Okay. So, let's try to check this in perspective. Malalaman natin ang intensity factor niyan mamaya. So, so you can see, kapag nag-set tayo nito, lumalaki ang symbol niya. You just press RE. And then, let's try to check it into perspective. Okay? So again, perspective. Choosing the most appropriate angle for your perspective is very important. So, depende kung paano gagamit ang pagkaset ninyo. So, say, for example, dito, let's try to check this. Full shadow. Sky, background and illumination. Now, I'm going to check this, the time. Okay, so kailangan para ma-adjust natin ang time natin, we have to make sure that at least at 5 beyond ang ating oras ng, um, ng ating buhay, o, ng ating setup sa araw. Okay, so let's go to sa uh, calculator. 6, let's just try to use at least 5. Okay, apply. Okay, so remember... This is the process of using light. Now, remember, if you want to adjust the intensity factor ng, ba, ng ilaw, you can just click here for the settings of each light. Okay, so ito lang muna ang susubukan natin ng ilaw. And then, let's try to check the render if possible. So, kapag masyadong mataas, so you can see if masyadong mataas ang ilaw. So, as you can see, masyadong mataas ang intensity ng ilaw. So, we could adjust this one by adjusting the setting sa isang ilaw. Okay. So, we don't need to further continue the render. So, ibig sabihin, ibababa natin ang kanyang rendering setup. So, close lang natin and then let's go back here sa ating setting sa ilaw. Okay. Remember, nandito sa light things or sa lights, remember, nasa visualize pa rin tayo. So, here, I'm going to click this one, lights, okay, dito sa lights, para may edit natin ang bawat properties ng ilaw, okay? So, remember, dito, and then I'm going to high, uh, check this one, properties, and I'm going to adjust this lamp intensity about siguro 500. Let us try to check, no? So, isa-isahin natin siya. 500 If masyado pa ring mataas then we will adjust this in 2 100 so. Okay so try to check properties just adjust this into 500 and enter intensity factor. So let's try again another set. If another rendering attempt, if the light is already adjusted with the lights that we want to. Okay, if ganun pa rin, then we have to adjust it into 100. So see, you can already see the difference between the 1500 intensity factor and the 500. So if I'm going to adjust this one into to um, one, uh, should I say 100? Siguro mas maganda siya or 300, no? So, let's try to stop the rendering here. Okay? 
So let's try to start the rendering here. And then I'm going to close this one and then I'm going to adjust again the settings of our things. Gawin natin siyang 100 lang. Okay. So here, same procedure, just click this one and then click all the lightings that you have and then properties. So let's try to use 100 and let's try to adjust this in the um, uh, 5000 resulting in intensity. So let's try again another third attempt for our rendering. So hopefully this would be more hindi masyadong mat malakas talagang ilaw. So, so you can see masyado rin naman siyang mababa. So the ideal should be at least 300. So remember um, when you're going to use lightings, remember it is it uh, set up talaga, settings talaga niya, so, which will result you into trial and error attempt. So, remember, intensity factor is at 50 and the resulting um, resulting intensity natin and then intensity factor ng light is at least at 100. So, again, let me just adjust this one to the final. Okay? So, check natin siya. Close this one. And then, I'm going to show you anong itsura niya sa actual light, sa final high settings rendering. Okay? So, click natin siya and then adjust this one. Siguro at least 250. Or, yeah, 250. So, remember, we have here 250. enter so let's check okay. so let's check one more time and then before we proceed I'm going to adjust again the shared disk calculator so masyadong mataas pang 5 o'clock let's try to have at least um, at least no, 530 okay so here 5.30 or 5.45 okay apply and then okay then let's close this one and then let's try again for our final attempt to create a render okay so this is the way on how you are going to use lightings sa isang perspective output okay so it also adds more artistic effect kapag nagka perspective tayo sa kabi see Maganda siya tignan. So, all, you can, all we can do here is to add more lighting here siguro so that it would be more attractive sa isang structure. Okay? So, as you can see, iba talaga ang texture ng perspective sa evening and then sa perspective sa gabi. Okay? So, this is truly different. Tignan nyo ang texture niya. Maganda talaga kapag nag add tayo ng lighting sa isang structure. So, ibang-iba talaga siya. Napakaganda niya. Okay? So, we will just wait to finish this render so that we could already save this one. But I'm going to show you later kung ano ang itsura niya sa pag-render kapag, okay? Kapag um, naka-high settings. Okay? So, maganda din talaga siya kapag naka-high settings including the trees and plants na naka-indicate sa isang autocad structure natin. Okay? So, remember, do not forget the settings natin. Um, intensity factor ng light is at 50 and then the lamp intensity is at least at 250. Now, if you are using 2014 way back, dated 2014 na uh, autocad in 2015, so, mataas ang intensity factor niya kasi iba din ang settings ng kanyang output. Okay? So, we'll just wait to finish this rendering para makita ninyo ang kanyang output. So, iba talaga ang output sa isang autocad. Okay? So, maganda din talaga siya. Maganda ang quality ng kanyang render. I hope as, uh, as we progress with our learning activity, you are learning also something from me. Okay? So, let's just wait to finish the rendering. Yes, I'm gonna put a flag Baby, you give me a good night You whip up my appetite Don't leave me in
Okay, so it took us about six minutes to render. Of course, if you have a better PC at home with a good RAM and a good processor, it would take less time. Okay, but if uh, you are using medium and low quality PC, so it would take you at least six to seven minutes to finish this render. Okay, so this is the procedure on how you are going to create lightings for your AutoCAD works. Now, depende kung anong gagamitin ninyo next sa activity ninyo, if you want the web light, the spotlight, the distant light, but for basic purposes, you could create this kind of activity such as creating the point light. So, again, this is a good activity for as a basic training for your AutoCAD works. This is Coach Gene of Drafting Lifestyle. I will not make this tutorial very long because this is already one kind of output that you could use or do as an exercise at home or in school. Thank you, God bless, stay safe, and until to our next video tutorial. Bye-bye.